40% of lakes in America are too polluted with trash for fishing and swimming. And the lakes are unsafe for wildlife to live in. We hope to help solve this problem. This project spoke to us because we both have first-hand experience with trash-filled lakes. I often go to Smith Mountain Lake, and when kayaking, I see water bottles and trash people drop from boats. But the trash buildup is especially bad after storms, so we made a solution. For our project, we decided to mimic a whale's baleen. A baleen is what toothless whales use in a set of teeth to filter food in the sea. A whale opens its mouth and sucks krill in. The krill gets stuck into the baleen, and the whale uses its tongue to push out the water, leaving it with a mouth full of krill. We came to the conclusion to use the whale's baleen to filter water in lakes, rivers, and ponds. We decided to take the structure of a dam and add human-sized holes with whale's baleen inside. The automatic doors open up in place of the whale's mouth opening, and the structure that mimics a whale's baleen traps trash and dirt, and a mechanism pushes out the water. We tried a few different designs. We came across the problem of fish getting sucked in. So we added two underwater solar-powered speakers that play low-frequency boat motors that turn on when the doors open. For a second strategy, we decided to make the outer structure of made of something mimicking coral protein. Coral protein is made of different chemicals that stick together and form a rock hard surface, making it sustainable under deep water pressures. Our design will filter water in a new way and have large effects on water pollution.